This is Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm going to take a look at some of the pros and cons that I've found with the Boogie Board Blackboard. Now the first pro that I'm going to discuss is the price. When I came across this device at my local office supply store about a month ago, they had three different boogie boards on display. They had the little pocket size that's about one-fourth of the size of the blackboard, and it was $15. They had the jot that's about half the size of the blackboard, and it was $30. And then they didn't have the price posted for the blackboard. So I took it up to the cash register. I was fully expecting it to be around $60, and I was pleasantly surprised when it was only $40. So I picked one up. I've always been a fan of these type of devices, and I've been pretty happy with it so far. Another pro is the size. When you consider that this is basically a one-page notebook, you want as large of a space to work with as possible. Now, there is an app that you can use for this, and you can scan the screen, and you can make edits on your phone or whatever device you use to scan it with. So that's nice. That's also a, a pro. One of the major pros with that really stood out to me with this new device is the new erase features. Now there's a slider over here and when you see the red it means it's locked and that prevents you from accidentally erasing the entire screen. You can still write you just don't have to worry about accidentally erasing the screen. And the really neat feature is the exact erase. That's this button here. When you press and hold it down, that allows you to use the eraser on the pen. And, oh, I just used it a minute ago. Let me see. You have to calibrate, and it looks like my calibration is messed up. So I'm going to have to, in fact, I'm going to go back and recalibrate it. Um, I believe you hold down the erase button. Oh, here's what I did wrong. The slider, it's set to not erase. Okay, now hold down the exact erase button. And takes a little more effort than erasing with a normal pencil, but you see it works pretty good. All right, so yeah, the exact erase is a nice feature if you use it properly. Um, another feature that I like is with the pen, There's a it magnetically attaches to this rail over here on the side, and it works pretty good when you prop up the blackboard. The pen stays on there pretty securely, and if you're going to be traveling with it, you can actually clip the pin on there and it's very secure when you clip it on. So that was well thought out. Uh, let's see. Now some of the cons that I've found, uh, well, let me mention another pro. This is a transparent display that has templates that you can slide in the back. Right now, I'm using the agenda template, but on the back of that is a lined template. And it also comes with another sheet that includes a dot grid and a blank. The downside is that you can't sl slide both of these in at the same time. It's too thick. And I wish they would have had some way to store the unused template. That's kind of nitpicking, but it would have been a nice feature to have. Um, there's no Android app right now. If you've got an iPhone, that's great. But for the way I use it, I don't really need uh, to scan it. We're just using it as a we're using it as a blackboard. But it'll be nice when an Android app comes out. And probably the most frustrating thing about this blackboard is that there's no way to hang it up. It would have been nice if there were some notches on the back where you could hang it up on a nail or a screw, or even better, if there were four magnets built into the back where you could 
hang it up on your refrigerator. That would have been perfect. Um, I had thought about buying my own magnets and attaching them to the four corners. The only downside is this little rail where the uh, pin clips on, um, you would block that rail. So I'm still thinking about how I might uh, post the blackboard. Right now we just have it propped up in our living room. But overall, I really love this device. Uh, Kent Technologies has really put some innovative features into this new blackboard and uh, I would recommend it. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments below.